Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sahil and this tutorial is about how to make a line graph animation in under 5 minutes. So firstly, what is a line graph? So a line graph goes like this. Yeah, well. So how do you exactly make this animation? Well, so a little backstory. I'm an amateur graphic designer uh, and I work freelance for a digital magazine. So when the magazine approached me to actually make a line graph like that, well, <laughs> I actually said yes to that, but I really didn't know how to make it. So as any amateur graphic designer would do, I went to YouTube and I searched up line graph animation. And all I got were tutorials for PowerPoint or some templates for After Effects, but it really didn't help me as I wanted to get the job done as quickly as possible. And then I found a very clever way, um, ergo this tutorial. So what I want you to do is go to this website called onlinecharttool.com. I'll link it in the description, but okay, for now, go to design a chart. Select the type of graph you want. I want the line graph. Uh, set the background color, the grid line color, the grid background, everything. Just make it white because it will help it in actually getting the animation. So next. Input the values that you want. Uh, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and the color is the line color of the graph that will be that will be outputted. I'll put it. It's not even a word. I'm sorry. Okay. Next. Then you have the label for the x-axis and the y-axis. There's a font. There's a font color, font size, everything. It's pretty understandable. Next. Then you have the graph. So uh, just save it any way you want. I'm going to take a screenshot using the software I'm using. It's called Bandicam. Once you have the screenshot, take it to, oops, take it to Photoshop. You can take it to any editing software. What I wanted to do is just crop it to the white outlines. Once you have that, save it. Um, I don't know what to name it. Now, once you have that graph, I want you to take it to After Effects. Oh, wait. Before that, create a new composition. Uh, I'm going to call it Cheeky Freaky. Now, take the image to the composition. Now, once you have that image, just size it according to, whoa, sorry, just size it, not that, oops, oh. alright, now what I wanted to do is create a new layer, a new solid, a white background, so it covers it, but now what I want you to do is resize it, in a way that it actually hides the graph. I don't know if you can already get the gist of it. Oh wow, these controls are weird. Um, almost done. Oh, oops, hit the title there. I don't care. Alright, that should work. So now what you want to do is actually create a position lock at zeroth position. Then as long as you want the graph to be at say 10 seconds, just turn it away. Out of the video. And you have it, a graph animation. Just look at it. Let it render, 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 let it render. Let it render. Voila, we have it. Oops, not till there. A simple, clean graph animation. So at this point of time, you can notice the fact that this black line and this gray line and the black line at the end 
that's really interfere with the animation. So simply you can do it, remove them in Photoshop or any of the editing software. But cheeky, right? 